Hello everyone and welcome to my channel DIY D365. As promised, I'm here today to show you the business card reader functionality within D365 and not the Power Apps AI Builder or the Canvas app for business card reader. So for US and Europe region, it's present in D365 itself. Um, that's what I'm gonna demonstrate now. It will be a short video. So I'm going to create a contact. So click there, click on contact. It opens up a quick create form and quick create form for both contact and leads have got this business card um, space holder. So if I click here, it will ask me to select the image. I can open it. It will load and fetch all the info from the image. So first name, last name, email, mobile phone. Now, please keep in mind that this button, because now we have got save and create new as well. So this button you'll have to hold and press like this. Similarly on your, on your mobile app, you'll have to press and hold the button to be able to save a record without creating a new one. So we have just created contact. Let's click and check out the details. So all the details are there. I just want to show you this, that the business card is uh, present here. So the original image is stored on your contact form as well. And I've told you yesterday how you can set that up. So you'll have to go to advanced settings. While it's opening, I'll quickly create a lead. So lead is similar. So both on contacts and leads, we have got business card reader functionality. So I'll do the same for lead, select the same card, open. and all the info is same. So when you see this uh, topic, lead from business card, that's a business rule I have created on a field called business card in the backend. So I'm checking the value if the business card has a value. I'm populating topic. Similarly, so again, we'll have to press and hold on save and close and it will save it. So I'm on this lead, which I've just created by scanning the business card, uh, just to check all the info as well as the business card images stored here or not. So it's there. That's great. Now let's show you how I've enabled the storage of business card image. So we go to system settings under sales. Towards the end, we've got, got this option called save business card images. So I've selected it as yes and clicked OK. That's how I'm able to do it. Now the same process. So I've done contact and leads on the web app. I'm going to do leads and contacts on the mobile app. So just minimize this. Let me play my mobile screen. So you can see I'm going to quick create. I'm clicking on lead, click on scan business card, click a picture of a business card, use that photo. It's getting uploaded. Everything would be pre-populated. Waiting for it. So the topic you see here though, lead from business card is why a business rule I've created on some criteria. Uh, save and close. So basically you'll have to press and hold save and close button. That's how it's working. Click on view record. I'm just doing this so you can see where the image has been captured on this form. So towards the end of this form, you'll see it like on the web app. It was there. It's here as well. So you can see it on your mobile app as well. I'm doing a quick create of a contact now. Same thing. Scan business card, click a photo, use that photo, let it be uploaded. Everything would be populated like on leads. So first name, last name, job title, mobile phone, business phone, email, etc. Um, not account name because that's a lookup field. Press and hold, save and close. It's saving. Click on view record just to check the business card image and other details. So it's all there. Everything is populated. That's all for today. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Do like, share, and comment. 
Happy CRMing, guys. Thank you.